so today we're going to start with the certificate generation so for certificate generation the first thing that we need to take into consideration that is pil okay so we're going to use the pil library right over here so first of all we need to import from pil just let me write it down from pil okay it's in capital pil so from pil we will just import image okay we had just imported image from pil and now i will tell you where to use this image all from okay now we need to select the path path of this uh, operating system so to get the path we have a library called uh, os so we'll just have the import os module over here okay we'll just have this path so os is nothing but the operating system i will tell you what is this module all about so i will just print print os dot get current directory current working directory okay get cw so this is what uh, it will give us the path okay so why we require the path we require the path actually to take the image the location of the path location of that image we require that so for that purpose we need to use the path python dot slash webinar three session four day two So we executed it and now we are getting the path as C user uh, Gotham tech documents Python internship. This is the path of my current working directory. Then after that, I will just add on my several other paths like uh, webinar 3.0 and then session four, then day two dot path means uh, the image location, whatever we have. So this is how we get that image location. Okay. So we can use uh, random paths on our own also, but if you if you're working, then you can use directly like this, and you can add on to the paths. So it is not a very difficult task to find which path what we require. Okay. So now we'll just create an uh, means uh, get an image. So first of all, I need to download an image. So let me have a certificate. And it should be blank actually. So I'll just write on blank certificate. Okay. So we can select any of these certificate as per our choice. Maybe uh, this one. This one is good. So we'll just save this image. And we'll just save this image in downloads. Okay. So we'll just grab this. Uh, come over here. Put this on to session four and I'll just reveal in file explorer. And right over here, I will just put the downloads, cut that image, and I will just paste it right in the session four. And over here, I will just paste it. That's it. Now that image will be coming over here. And now on OS get CWD, we are having to Python internship. So till here, I'm getting this. So what I need to do, I will just add on to the paths. I need to join some path to it. So for joining, we need we need to join use path join of uh, means uh, attribute of the uh, uh, module OS. Okay. So I'm just storing it in the path OS dot path. Okay. OS dot path. Now I need to join the path. So I will use the join and in join function inside this. I will pass first of all OS dot get current working directory that is still here till internship i will get to over here then using commas i will add on to the paths so comma next is webinar 3.0 webinar 3.0 see this is the entire thing you need to write right over here comma session 4 comma day 2 uh, sorry comma and now uh, I don't require anything else because next is my image directly so I will just uh, have till here session 4 so I got the path okay so this is the path where my image is there now I will just open the image so I will just write image dot uh, image equals to maybe I'm storing it in image 
and I will have the image dot open and inside that I will just write on with a binary this uh, denotes binary so R plus path so this is a syntax just remember if you are using a variable you need to use this R as the binary term then you need to use this that we are starting uh, the text over here and then the variable that we have and after this we're gonna have a um, the path the remaining path that is the image path of the image and now the path, I need to just write down function f2 and I will just copy this and I will just come back over here with a slash backslash I'll just paste this that's it now I have got my image open okay now to show to show what we have got we need to just uh, take a glimpse that uh, using PIL see and and uh, just uh, telling you how to get research see you need to just write image dot show and it will show you the image okay so this is how it is so we'll just uh, go far over here and we'll just write image dot show and I believe it will show us the image so let us just take it over okay so no such file directory is over here okay uh, let us just go to it once properly Python internship and in Python internship we have webinar 3.0 okay 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 there is a mistake right over here we haven't closed it and we haven't opened this now it will not throw an error on this path so this was a mistake that we had created and now when we clicked it we are getting our image open so here we got our image that means we have got the exactly correct path and we have got our image open I hope this is clear to you now we'll just cut this off and we'll just eliminate this because we don't want we are just checking that if our image is coming through the path so our path is absolutely correct and now we need to draw something right so for drawing something we need to create initialize the drawing context okay so we'll first create the object okay so we'll just uh, take it as draw and we'll just write image draw now we need to import this image draw if you want to draw an image we need to import this image draw right over here okay we have imported this image draw and now we will just draw on it okay so to draw on it we need to just uh, uh, put the image uh, where we want to draw so we'll just uh, have this image right over here I will just uh, copy the name over here and this is all fine so now we have made the object where we need to draw as the background and we have the draw right over here as the background okay so we have done all this now we will need to execute the uh, I told you the next step is to execute the index position where we want the positions X and Y axis where we want it so I will just uh, write on uh, some names like uh, let me see the image once again what all image we had taken okay we had taken this image I will just open this okay this has been removed okay this is the image now we want uh, like uh, the name and for what it is and the date and signature so signature we won't take it or will, we will take give a name over here okay so two names one uh, context and one date so this is what we need to do so first of all we need to decide the x and y axis so let it be first name for name we are deciding the x and y axis so in the brackets if you have two values okay two values in x and y if you want to store in the same method we can use this now to how to get the x and y now when we go to the image right over here when we just etch over over here we will find that it is having some dimensions 255 into 197 so we're going to use these dimensions like 255 by 2 is the center so it's almost uh, 125 and 127 127 is the mid almost mid and the other dimension was 
height was okay let us see the height 197 so let it be 150 that will be great so we are starting with this 127 comma 50 as the x axis and y axis x axis is the width and y axis is the height okay now i'll provide a name over here let it be ramesh uh, uh, kumar let this be the name and now we'll have uh, we may have a name color okay i will just tell you later on how to change on the colors and all the things okay so next thing that we require is the draw so we're gonna draw over here so for drawing we need to decide the width and height okay but uh, we don't uh, will not do this now we'll directly draw dot text this is what we want to draw draw dot text and inside this we're going to pass on the x and y axis that we had created x comma y comma the name and that's it and then we will just save this image so for saving again we need to just write image dot save that will help us to save it so we'll just write it down like a save and we'll just take it like image dot save and we're going to use the location right over here so we can use the same path so r and then we'll use path like path and with what name we want to save it uh, save it as some other names so maybe uh, generated generated dot jpg Okay, we had saved this with name and I will just put on a slash right over here and that's it. It's a backslash and that's it. So let us see if this uh, works properly and we get something out of this. So we'll just execute this. Okay, there is a mistake right over here in line number 17. So we'll just go with line number 17. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we made a mistake that we have missed a braces over here i believe only this is maybe the mistake so let us execute once again yeah so this was the mistake and now we have got the jpg right over here with the name as generated.jpg okay so let us find if we are getting some name it's so small that we are not able to see even i believe we must change the certificate we must change the certificate. Let us see a high resolution certificate. Let us see which what resolution it is. 600 into 464. And this is 412. This is far better. So let us download this instead of that. Let us download this and we'll just uh, I have to go to this over here and we'll just have the same name so i will just delete this certificate and come over here change the name and then save it and just uh, cut it and put it over here that's it so that's it and now we'll just change the uh, previous file again so see if i don't delete this file if I re-execute this file now, download.jpg has something else. So now when we generate it, it will generate something else. Okay. It will generate something else. Okay. Now you can see. So did we get anything? I'm not able to see any any name. You can you can also see it that we are not able to see any name in the center. Okay, so now we have changed as we have changed the certificate. Now we have changed the centers also. So we need to just uh, reassign the centers. That is the most important thing. So we'll just come over here, see to it, and reassign the centers. 585 into 413. So 585 is almost uh, you have. 
250 and 240 242 so we're gonna have it over here as 242 and right over here maybe it's 200 uh, 150 this is what but still you will not able to see it even if we generate it you will not able to see it this is because we haven't decided the size size of the letters so to decide the size of the letters we need to decide the font okay so we'll just write down like this like uh, we need a true type image font so we'll just uh, declare an image font uh, we'll just import it okay so now where to get the image font just come over here and then and write it down anywhere uh, font okay so when you write it down like uh, you can have any of the fonts whatever you resign whatever you want like if you want uh, this font you can just click it on and when you click it on just select a font and just download the family or if you don't want to download the family you can download uh, an individual font as per your requirements so i have downloaded the family and when i download the family then what i need to do i need to just open this I will just extract extract this file right over here uh, let me extract it maybe desktop okay so I've extracted this to desktop and now let me see if this is opening it will look like something like this okay so I will do not install uh, you may install it it's per your choice if you don't want to install you can leave it okay I have installed this and now I will just cut this font and I'll just keep it right over here where I kept all of my details okay and same thing I will do with over here um, in the code I'll just uh, go for this true type and I'll just set the path so let it be font name equals to image dot draw uh, sorry not draw we're gonna uh, we're gonna use the font image font sorry image font dot true type and inside that we're gonna write on the paths like uh, r and in double quotes we will just add on to it and we'll just add on the path where we have it so when i will add it and we'll add the name over here so we'll just copy the name we'll just copy the entire name and we'll just cut this and paste it over here with a slash and right away so this is the font that we're going to use it and now after this we're going to use the size maybe 150 if i'm writing then 150 is the size and now i got i need to pass it i need to pass this to this uh, draw when I'm drawing, I need to pass this. So I will just write down over here, comma, font equals to the font that we have, font name. Okay, so I'm I'm passing on the variable right over there. I'm passing the path from where the font is coming and what is the size of it, and that's it. It will give us the font name. Okay, so let us execute it. Let us just execute this and it has been saved once again. And now if we search for it, still we are not getting anything. Okay. This is strange. Uh, let me just check it out. This conference so will now what be recorded. The color that we missed uh, right on over here. And uh, when we wrote the color, then we are getting this uh, name over here. Okay, so let us uh, align it with a smaller font. Let the font be 15 maybe. And now when we save it and execute this, so we'll get something light over here in at the center. Okay, so if we, uh, now we want it somewhere over here. Okay, we want the name somewhere over here. So we'll just increase the height of this. Uh, we'll just increase the height of this 
so we'll just make it as maybe 300 okay let's see what it is at 300 just we need to execute it this is the try and hit method and we need to use this method basically okay it's more so we'll just reduce this to 250 now we'll save this and execute this once again okay more a little more so maybe 220 now we'll save this and execute this we'll check it once again okay it's it's more so we'll just do one more thing we'll just increase a little 230 execute this and just check it so it's exactly at the center but now it has been in the center but if we have if we increase it like we have ramesh kumar party okay may this be the name okay now if we execute this and now if you want to see this then what happens it's not actually at the center when we are increasing uh, the increasing the name it's just moving away from the position so what we have done we have fixed a position right over here we have fixed a position and everything is going after that position one by one if we mo have more uh, name over here like kumar uh, added to it and now we execute it then it will be added just side of this you can see so this is not the solution to generate a certificate so for what this what we require we require to find out the width the width of this uh, entire letter that is coming so to find out the width of this entire letter what we require we require to um, calculate the width over here width and height okay so what we need to do we need to just put on the width width comma height because it will the the value that we are going to use it will provide us the width and the height both now we're going to use draw dot text size now we're going to use draw dot text size and inside that we're gonna pass on cert, uh, your uh, name, okay, and font style. What font style we're using because uh, the size depends upon the font style also. So we're gonna use font name over here. So when we use this, you will find out some values, okay, the width and height of this uh, particular font. So whatever width it is, we need to minus subtract the half of it. For example. We have the width over here, uh, maybe 10. Okay, but what we require, the half of it should be subtracted from the total uh, center width. Then only it will come again into center. Are you getting my point? So for that purpose, what we require over here, we will just subtract it x minus in brackets w by 2. Okay, so we have done x minus w by 2 and this is what our main requirement is now if we execute this then we'll find out our solution you can see now it was not at the center so we'll just execute it at the center first so let us make it as 280 uh more a little more 290 yeah it's at the center now now if i'm reducing this name now you will see the see the thing that if i'm reducing the name it will not leave the center it will be at the center again i was just executing this you can see it's it's at the center it's not shifting now i'm increasing the name a little more like i will just copy this and paste this right over here and i will just uh execute this so you will find that we are still at the center taking any name we are keeping at the center so this is how we can generate a certificate right over here so i will just remove this and this is the name similarly the same thing goes for date and the same thing goes for signature right away if you have a signature then you need to just make the certificate with a signature because that is not possible right over here so we'll just use this date. We'll just try to use the date right in the same manner. So uh, let's just take date and we'll copy this entire part 
and we'll paste it right over here. Let the X axis be reduced to maybe 100 and Y axis be increased to maybe 430 and the date, I need to write it over here, date and date maybe your 20, uh, today is 30, 9, 2020. The color will be black and everything will be same. And over here, I need to find out the date. So I'll pass on the date and I will pass on the date. Right. Yeah. If you want a different font size, then what you need to do, you need to copy this and write it like a font date. If you can use different font style also, it's upon you. I will just uh, put on this to date and I will just put on this to maybe 10. 10 or it maybe if you want to increase, you can increase this. Now I will just need to change this to font date and similarly I need to change this to font date. That's it. And all done, I believe. Just let us execute the code once again and let us see what is the output. Okay, we are not getting any date right over here. Let us see why we are not getting any date. So we have done everything correctly. Let me see the width of the thing. Uh, maybe we have exceeded the width. Okay, the 413 is the maximum height of it and we have exceeded the height. So we need to reduce it to 330 maybe and it will be working then fine. Just let us see. So now we are, okay, if we have, Abs absolutely means so almost we have reached the center okay so we'll just reduce the size a little so let us reduce it to uh, maybe 17 this way will be good and we'll just make this a height a little more maybe 340 this will be good so we'll execute this once again and let us check okay exactly at a perfect position we have assigned it okay so you can see we have got the name we have got the uh, date and similarly if you have the sign then the certificate is correct so did you understood the each and every concept of this just let me know in the comment section yes very good now we can use uh, it as a function also so how to use this as a function now we'll just uh, take this as a function over here, uh, uh, right over here. We want the draw right over here. Okay. Now we'll just create a function. Let it be def generate. This is the function that we want. And now inside this, we'll just place on these entire paths. Okay, so this is done, right? Now what we require actually inside a function. Over here, if we are calling like this, we can directly use, uh, means uh, we can call generate, use this function, and we can call it and it will generate the certificate. Let us delete the previous certificate. Let us delete this. Now we'll just uh, execute this once again. And now the new certificate has been generated and it's the same, okay? But if you want the variable names, so we need to pass on the names right over here. Like if you want to pass on Ramesh Kumar, the name and the date, okay? So date you are passing like 30, 10, uh, not 10, 30, 9, 2020. If you're passing this like this, then if you want to have this as capital, if you want this as capital, you can go this you can make it capital also you need to go for the study of the strings that we have created string dot capitalize and all those functions you will get a cap uh, get a um, uh, your function in the string for making the things capital or the first letter capital whatever you require so if you are passing something we need to store it somewhere over here so we'll store it in name and we can store it in uh, you can say date okay now we are going for the name right over here. We'll just remove this and we are going for the date right over here. We'll just remove this now the font and the name and date that is coming through the function is the only name and date and now if we execute this Then we'll get The same thing that we had done now. It let us change the name 
let us pass some other name Ajay Kumar. Okay, let us execute this. Let us uh, see the output. So you can see we are getting the names at the particular position where we require, and we're getting it all though. Okay, so this is how we can use the function. Now, as I told you, that this converts this entire thing has been converted into binary format and it is being used in a binary format. Okay, now when a binary format is saved, you can save it in any format. Like if you want to save it in PNG. You can use and save it in PNG. It doesn't matter. Okay, you will get a PNG out of. It. So now you can see. Now you have got a PNG, and if you see, you are getting this thing. Okay, if you want to save it in PDF, you can save it in PDF. There is no matter of it. If you want to save it in PDF, now if you want to execute this, so if you execute this, you will getting the PDF. And uh, when you open the PDF, Visual Studio Code, we cannot open the PDF. So I'm just opening it through Acrobat. Now you can see you can you will get the certificate in a PDF format. So this is how you can convert the files. Your files you can make a converter uh, for you. That if you want to make a JPG to PDF converter, PDF to JPG converter, whatever you want, you can use it and convert it as per your choice. So is uh, this is the all the thing that we want you to know today. I hope you understood how to generate a certificate and utilize this uh, knowledge of generating certificates. To make any other beautiful projects out of it, many many innovative projects you can go for the research and make it. So I hope this is all. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, just let me know in the comment section.